Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. I've got updated, updated overview of Alliance ROM. Uh, the latest version is pretty cool. I've got custom colors up there, and you can uh, choose your own uh, pull down image there, which is really cool. That is really cool, huh? I know a lot of you asked me, I've got this on running on my Node 2, a lot of my Node 2s. Um, this one has it as a wallpaper. You can hit uh, basically. Uh, what you want to do, download your favorite JPEG file. Uh, let's actually do one together. So let's say I download it, a JPEG file. Um, I'll go to my storage. Actually, it's just in my extend, extended external SD card. And uh, it was here. Oops, where did I put it? All right, maybe it's in my SD card. Uh, basically, what you want to do and I'll just tell you, just download the JPEG image that you want to do. Uh, you want to put it on your phone and use ES File Explorer. Uh, copy it into the Alliance directory in your SD card directory and rename it to um, temp.jpg uh, and go ahead and run the Alliance wallpaper app. It actually shows you how to do it. Um, the instructions are all here. So go ahead and follow that. And once you have the your favorite uh, JPEG file uh, renamed to temp.jpg in your Alliance folder, go ahead and hit Resize and Set, and uh, give it a second, and you'll be able to see your favorite image showing up here, which is nice. And of course, that's one of the main ones, uh, main things the latest version does, and also the uh, Alliance ROM settings has more options now. Of course, don't forget to enable lock screen torch. That is nice. Uh, lock screen, same as before. You get a bunch of lock screens. Um, I've got the ripple effect here. There we go with the red color there. And also uh, UI mods. And this is where you can uh, mess with your colors, clock style, day of the week, status bar, um, some more options here. And also toggle options. This is where you can change your quick toggles I'll add more buttons up to 23 and also reorder if you want LED flashlight first that will show up first so that's nice and the Alliance ROM has been always been my one of my favorite ROMs and they're getting better and better and uh, a lot of developers are moving to now S4 um, because it's time to upgrade their phone and they're just leaving us too but Alliance is one of them that's still here and looking pretty fairly good and also it does come with TouchWiz launcher or Nova launcher and also does have multi-window for those of you who never tried this ROM to enable multi-window you will have to unclick click it on and you'll see a little tab appear here there we go and you'll be able to um, multi use multi-window which is enabled for all apps so it is very nice there we go and boom so very nice ROM if you're looking for um, you know some good drop down customization uh, multi window enable for all apps some good speed check this one out and also this one comes with stock kernel which gets you pretty good battery life now, if you want some more performance out of it, go ahead and install uh, Dormanx, Sia Dormanx kernel, which I've got here. Um, I'll have a link to that on my site also, so you can install it and run as tweaks, which it comes with. And you can overclock it to 1.4, 1.5 gigahertz. You can do 1.6, just as long as you're connected to a power adapter or playing games or something. Um, you can go ahead and overclock it to 1.5 gigahertz. So I've been actually showing without any overclocking for all this. And that is nice. And you can also overclock your GPU. Um, overclock it all about a step 108 to 160. Step 2, 160 to 200. 200 to 267. 267 to 330. And also um, 400 for the last step and basically this will make your phone a lot faster some people have uh, reported some really fast speeds with Dormax kernel along with Alliance ROM like near six seven thousand 
uh, on quadrants, which is as fast as, you know, Galaxy S3. Um, so do check it out for this week's ROM of the week in the very, very nice ROM. There is somewhat lag when you first install it. Uh, however, if you let it sit, you know, let all of your stuff sync and stuff and uh, give it like an hour or two, it's going to get much, much faster, um, you know. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And if you have a Galaxy S2, any of the Galaxy S2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Um, stay high on Android.